ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله والسلام عليه اما بعد يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد الحمد لله على نعمه الاسلام والسنه all praise and thanks belong to allah for guiding us to islam and for guiding us to the sunnah we have to thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala abundantly for guiding us to islam and giving us the tawfiq giving us the success granting us the, the success out of his bounty to accept it we have to thank allah tremendously for guiding us to the sunnah and for giving us the tawfiq for giving us the success in accepting it because bila shak wa bila raib these are two bounties that without them an individual will be destroyed qabla wafat rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anzal allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al yawma akmaltu al yawma akmaltu lakum dinakum wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati ورضيت لكم الاسلام دينا before the death of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he revealed and this was slightly before the death of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam allah ta'ala he revealed what translated means and on this day i have completed for you your religion perfected for you your religion your deen your way of life and islam is a way of life it is not just that which is related to the masjid it is not just that in which we implement when we come to the masjid when we're inside of the masjid it is not that in which we implement it just in ramadan or just during hajj so on and so forth but rather islam it is our way of life our way of life we have guidance wallahi alhamd for everything from the manner in which we go to the bathroom from the manner in which we conduct ourselves with our brothers and our sisters from the manner in which we conduct ourselves with our parents and with our spouses from the manner in which the ruler deals with those who are ruled and from the manner in which those who are ruled deal with those who are in authority and in those matters which are greater than all of that which was aforementioned and that is how the abd how the slave establishes the rights of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala islam has come and it is guidance for everything in our life every single thing and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He has told us that he has perfected for us our way of life and that he has completed his favor upon us and that he is pleased for us Islam as a deen Allah is pleased for us Islam as a deen not other than Islam but only Islam is Allah pleased with it for us as a deen 
as Allah Ta'ala, He says, Inna deena indallahi islam That verily the only religion that is accepted by Allah is Islam. That is it, no other religion. Allah Ta'ala, He says, وَمَنْ يَبْتَغِي غَيْرَ الْإِسْلَامِ دِينَا فَلَنْ يُقْبَلَ مِنْهِ And whoever, Allah Ta'ala, He tells us, and whoever seeks, whoever wants, other than Islam as a religion, it will never ever be accepted. It will never ever be accepted. Why? Because the only deen that is accepted by Allah is Islam. Islam is the only deen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He is pleased with. So alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, hamdan hamda, alhamdulillah, Allah has guided us to Islam. It is incumbent that we remember this bounty and it is incumbent that we show gratitude for this bounty. And from the manner and way in which an individual shows gratitude unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the bounties in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon them is that they are obedient unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are compliant to the rules and the regulations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down that they live in accordance to the Quran, they live in accordance to the Sunnah, they live upon that which was understood by the Salaf from the Quran and the Sunnah that they implement that which they are supposed to implement and they stay away from that which they are supposed to stay away from and when they come up short, then they make tawbah, when they come up short then they increase in doing righteous good deeds, when they come up short then they try harder ta'ala, by increasing in obedience unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because none of us is going to be perfect because we are not perfect Allah Ta'ala, He has not created us to be perfect. Allah Ta'ala knows we are not perfect. And thus, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He said, that all of the children of Adam make mistakes. They all make sins. They all come up short. And the best of those who make mistakes, the best of those who make sins, the best of those who come up short, then they are those who ask for forgiveness. They are those who repent unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So no matter what you're doing from sin and transgression, Repent unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's how you follow up a sin. By repenting unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by increasing and doing righteous good deeds, we have to do these things to show our gratitude unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guiding us to Islam and for guiding us to the sunnah. Hada aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa li jami'i al-muslimin fa astaghfiru fa innahu huwa al-ghafur rahim Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam, ala rasulillah wa ba'd. Ya ibadullah, I beg your pardon because actually the topic of today's khutbah was supposed to be something different. But due to that which was mentioned, we will leave it upon that topic inshaAllah ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has sent to us a messenger, walillah alhamd. And this is a bounty that Allah Ta'ala sent to us a messenger. Allah Azza wa Jal, He says in His noble book, لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ That there has come to you a messenger from amongst yourselves. In that, there is so much benefit. If one were just to reflect upon that point, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us a messenger from amongst ourselves. Allah ta'ala, he says, Azizun alayhi, that it is heavy upon him, heavy upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It grieves the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ma anittum, that which causes us difficulty, that which causes us trouble, it is heavy upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He doesn't like that, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, due to his concern for us, due to the love that he has for us, due to the love that he has for his Ummah, due to the love that he has for the believers. Anything that harms the believers, 
anything that is difficult for the believers. This is troublesome to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Grievous upon him, heavy upon him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Harisun alaykum. Allah Ta'ala, he says that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who has come to us, who Allah Ta'ala has sent to us. He is diligent. He works hard. He works tirelessly to bring to us good so that good reaches us, to teach us what is good. He is concerned that we are upon good and in a good state. And thus the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Ma'am min shay, yuqarribukum ila al-janna wa yuba'idukum ala al-nar illa wa qad amartukum bihi wa ma min shay, yuqarribukum ila al-nar wa yuba'idukum ala al-janna illa wa qad nahaytukum anhu. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said what means? There is nothing from good that will get you close to the Jannah and far away from the hellfire except that I commanded you to do it. And there is nothing from evil that will get you close to the fire. We're far away from Jannah, except that I have prohibited it from you. This is how concerned the Prophet Wasallam he is to us. Allah Ta'ala, he tells us that he is concerned for us. حَرِيسٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَؤُوفٌ Rahimun. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is diligent, concerned that good reaches us. He is full of pity. He is full of kindness for the believers. He is full of mercy for the believers. This is the Prophet that Allah Ta'ala, he has sent to mankind, to the human beings, to the jinn, to the men, to the women, to the Arab, to the non-Arab to the black, to the white, and every color in between. All of mankind, all of mankind, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi has been sent to them. It is important that we understand and we appreciate this, and we show that due to our compliance. But it is also a must upon us that we learn about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We learn about this Prophet who had a lot of concern for us, a lot of love for us, he was very kind to us, had a lot of mercy for us. We have to learn about him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to teach our children about him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to strive to imitate him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we have to teach the dunya about him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have to teach the non-Muslims about the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Show them how merciful the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was. Show them how kind the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was. Show them the excellent manners of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Show them how excellently the Prophet used to interact with the Muslims. Show them how excellently the Prophet used to interact with the Jews and with the Christians. Show them how excellently the Prophet used to interact with the non believers in general. Show them the truth about Islam by teaching them about the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad. Because if they knew, if they knew, you will find many people enter into Islam in droves. You will find many people enter into Islam in groups. Wallahu a'la wa a'lam. So it is incumbent that we give the message and that we transfer the message to those who it hasn't reached. And we teach them about the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who was a prophet of mercy. He was a mercy for mankind. That we teach them about the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and we imitate the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when they see us interacting in a merciful manner, when they see us interacting, in a good manner, when they see us interacting in a good way, and they ask, but why are you like that? You're different. You're not like everyone else. Why are you act like this? Then we can tell them, this is what Allah has revealed. This is what Allah has revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do you know who is Muhammad? Let me teach you about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let me teach you about the beliefs that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came and he taught mankind. Let me teach you about the tawheed that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came and he called mankind to. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Let me teach you about the prophets and the messengers that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he commanded the believers that they have to believe in 
with them from Isa, from Jesus, from Ibrahim, from Abraham, from Noah, alayhum salatu wassalam. We have to teach the people and show them the beauty of Islam. It is incumbent upon us that we appreciate what Allah has given us by implementing it, by being good Muslims. And it is incumbent that we share that, that we share that blessing with mankind and show them the good that awaits them if they accept it. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said when he wrote the letters to the disbelieving rulers, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wrote letters to the disbelieving rulers of the world, calling them to Islam. And in it, he said a word that some people, they had taken it out of its context, but it was a word of mercy. It was a word of concern because the Prophet ﷺ, he is a mercy to mankind. And he informed them inside of these letters, Islam, Teslam, accept Islam and you will be safe. Accept Islam, you will be safe from going to hell. Accept Islam, you will escape the punishment of hell. Accept Islam and you will be safe. You will be safe to enter into Jannah to have the eternal bliss except Islam because this is the best thing for you in this world and in the next except Islam because I want good for you except Islam because I don't want to see harm come to you except Islam so you can be safe it is incumbent that we convey this message it is incumbent that we appreciate the Prophet Sallallahu and that we Submit ourselves to Allah. That we submit ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the rules and regulations of the deen. And we strive to be the best Muslims that we can be because this is the only way we could possibly attempt to show gratitude to this great blessing and gift that Allah has given us. But we have to know that we will never ever be able to show the full amount of gratitude unto Allah. So we have to try our best to be the best Muslims that we can be and to call our families to be the best Muslims that they can be, so on and so forth. As Allah Ta'ala and you were fickeni wa iyakum, Lima Yuhibuhu wa Yaruba, one Yaja Alana min men either or Tia Shakar, while the Botulia Sabar, where the Edna Bestelfer, for in Naha Ulai Thalath. عنوان السعادة اللهم آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم إنا نسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والغنى هذا فأقيم الصلاة